Over the weekend, I did my research on sunscreens. And should I tell you the truth? There is more to sunscreen than we actually know. Hey loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are trying something very different, a voiceover and I hope you enjoy it. So today's video is all about sunscreen. Is sunscreen really safe for the skin? You know, I stopped on this video on TikTok and this lady was in, she did some research about sunscreen. She saw some ingredients, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to actually play a video for you then as well as also giving you guys my own opinion and what I think about the video. Over the weekend, I did my research on sunscreens and should I tell you the truth, there is more to sunscreen than we actually know. Forget about the product recommendation on TikTok that you're saying, okay? Forget about the recommendation someone gives to you. I would advise you to do your own research. Okay. Let me give you a caption line. Hmm? Go on Google. Insert oxybenzone in sunscreen. It's going to bring out this and more other ingredients used in sunscreens. I want you to use your own hand, okay, to find a solution for yourself. They will list out the ingredients and how they are accepted in each region and the benefits on the skin. And then the particular sunscreen you are using now, Google it and Google the ingredients. The ingredients that were mentioned, check if your product contain, I mean, contains it. Then you know whether to continue using the sunscreen or to stop it. Even now, for me, I am asking myself this question, which is, what will happen? really really if we stop using sunscreens you guys what she said I, in that video is actually true there's this particular ingredient that you can find in sunscreen i agree with that what she said but then again <laughs> but then again is sunscreen really still safe you guys wait let's watch this second video then we're going to discuss Let's pay attention to the second video. This particular lady that explained better. Over the weekend, I did my research on sunscreens. Hi guys. So, hi guys. So this lady did a video on sunscreens where she claimed that she did some researches on sunscreens and then the ingredients one of which she mentioned was oxybenzone and a list of others that she said we should go research by ourselves left her with some concerns and then left her thinking whether or not we should apply sunscreens and what would happen if we don't apply sunscreens first off and then i went to the comment section to explain that oxybenzone is like an in is one of the ingredients in chemical sunscreens and then she went ahead to tell me that if it's an ingredient that has a history or is known to cause cancer should we really apply it and then i'll just for that i'll say that i also went and did my own researches and there are a number of researches thousands of researches where people have gone ahead to to um, compare and do studies regarding this ingredient oxybenzone even avabenzone and they have gone ahead to say that the quantity with um that is absorbed into our bloodstream when we apply chemical sunscreens because chemical sunscreens work by being absorbed into our bloodstream and then they now absorb the uva and uvb rays so studies have shown that the quantity that is absorbed into our bloodstream is not enough to cause any harm even the association american association of dermatologists have gone ahead to say that we can apply the sunscreens that contain these ingredients and they do not cause any harm what matters is and what is most important is that you consistently apply your sunscreen because it helps protect you away from UVA and UVB rays, which can cause cancer. One of the things that raised concerns for me is that I saw people in the comment section seconding what she was saying and sharing their own complaints about how sunscreens broke them out and all of that. If you have a sunscreen that is not working for you, find another sunscreen that works for you. If you say, your sunscreen stings your eyes like i see some people complain how about you find a sunscreen that doesn't sting your eye 
I feel that it is not fact for you to say that stop sunscreen because these ingredients supposedly can cause cancer when there are researches, countless and thousands of researches online saying that there is no harm in applying these sunscreens on your face. If the sunscreen you're currently using is not good with your skin, maybe it's breaking you out or it's sensitizing your skin, find another sunscreen. We find that people don't even know how, how to apply these sunscreens and then they apply very little amounts and apply axes on their skin and go out and come back with sunburn and then claim that the sunscreen caused them to um, have sunburn. I just feel like we should really be guided on this TikTok streets. Oxybenzone personally reminds me of hydroquinone as well. The studies of hydroquinone shows that use, if you use hydroquinone, um, the studies like you're going to have ochronosis, cancer, and all of that. But then again, it doesn't stop hydroquinone from being bad. It doesn't stop dermatologists recommending hydroquinone for you to fix your hyperpigmentation, your age spots, and um, melasma as well. So now, I will say personally that oxybenzone being in a sunscreen sunscreen doesn't totally mean sunscreen is bad doesn't totally mean sunscreen cause your cancer it doesn't mean like that of course the quantity you're going to be using on your face is not even enough safe to protect from the sun that's why we're applying every time so i believe or my own personal opinion is that i don't believe sunscreen is going to cause you cancer just because oxybenzone is there i feel like you have to use a lot of that particular ingredient for you to have something like that so uh, that's my own personal opinion i am not a professional to actually come and give professional advice <laughs> or there but that's my own personal opinion so what do you guys think have you ever thought or ever think that this sunscreen is even important safe or will it even cause us cancer do you ever have that kind of thoughts or that kind of opinion let me know that in the comment section and let me know what you think about this particular topic and i just i would like to hear you guys opinion in the comment section what you think i know there are some gurus that watch my videos <laughs> let me know that in the comment section what you think about the the topic and again let me know what you think about this particular type of video this is my first time trying something like this i hope you like it and if you don't, let me know down in the comment section. So I'm going to go back to my old self, like showing myself my video and all of that. <laughs> my name is Maria Davis. This is your first time for joining my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and all of that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.